Hey guys, I'm in my bed right now, just relaxing, just chilling. And today we'll be talking about back to the music history stuff. Now, we're going to be talking about the Who today. The Who that did the Pinball Wizard song from Patrick and My Generation of Bubba O'Reilly and all that stuff. Anyway, they're an English rock band from 1964. Um, lead singer, which is Roger Daltrey. Pete on guitar. And the drummer is Keith Moon. Um, the Who was earlier called the Detours. Um, and the founding members was like Pete Townsend, Roger Daltrey, like the main ones. And, um, in the, uh, let me go to the live part. First single in My Generation. 1964, The Who became popular in London's Marquis Club in a rave review. Is there something about this? It's wedding. Appeared in Melody Maker. Member and Stam attracted other American producer Shell Tell Me. Who had produced the Kinks. Townsend had written the song, I Can't Explain. It barely sounded like the Kinks to attack, to attract, to attract attention. He signed them to a production company, sold the recording to the UM, to the US Decca Records, meant that the group's early singles were released in Britain, one of the UK's decal labels for US artists. Can't Explain was recorded in early 1964 at Pi Studios with, I, with the Ivy League on backing vocals. And Jimmy Page played Fudd's guitar on the B-side, Ballhead Woman. Huh. I can't explain being popular with pirate radio, such as Caroline. Okay, that's a cool name. Um, pirate radio was important for bands. There are no commercial radio station in the UK and BBC Radio. Played little pop music. Um, the group gained further exposure when they appeared on the television program, Ready, Steady, Go. Emperor and Stamp were tasked in finding enthusiastic reception on television and regular audiences at a Goldhawk social club. Transition to a hit-making band, original material, Encouraged by Lambert, did not sit close friends either, far from Moon and Estuart. In in whistle, in whistle, who enjoyed visiting nightclubs together in West End of London, to our experience. Difficult time while touring in Mark in December. Archie showing Moon's empathies down the toilet and assaulting him. <laughs> Immediately from return to Britain, Gautry was sacked. And he was designed to condition the group leadership. The group in this um, which which you call as a roadie. Hmm. 
Can you see who Daltry is who assaulted um the other guy from the same band the Who? Okay, Roger Daltry. Okay. He's still in the band. All right. All right. So yeah, it says right here, Roger Daltrey, born March 1st, 1944, English singer, lead singer of the rock band The Who. He made hits include My Generation, Pinballies, Don't Get Fooled Again, Bubble Rally, You Bet, You Better You Get, and solo stuff like Giving It All Away, Walking the Dog, Rain on the Wind, Free Me Without Your Love. And under a raging moon. Okay, okay. Um, So, um, it seems like Keith Moon died, 1978, um, wonder what of though, <laughs> he died, um, with alcohol poisoning. He had a destructive lifetime. Um, right, so his favorite thing was um, he liked exploding toilets. Um, exploding toilets, um, Keith Moon. Moon's favorite stunt was flushing powerful explosives down the toilet. According to Fletcher, Moon's toilet began in 1965 when he purchased a case of 500 cherry bombs. Um, to M80 fireworks sticks of dynamite, which became explosives at the time. All right. And one time at Holiday Inn, Moon, um, um, so Keith Moon was drunk, and returned to the hotel. Moon started a food fight. Soon, cake be began flying through the air. Driver knocked out part of the front tooth at the hospital. Doctors could not give him, um, and. And the tick before moving the remainder of the tooth. Okay. Pass on stage. Stuff okay. Rock on, guys.